after my first arrest, I mean, you see the amount of journalists here. Yeah. After my first arrest, I became like very well known and vilified around the world. Maybe a lot of people made a lot of fun of my back and they created Facebook account and Twitter account. Some very good in support and some uh, like very humoristic or very bad. You know, I've, I've read things like I was like, oh my God, I would be in fear if... Are if, you the victim of a fake Twitter account? Well, I right now I think there is right now eight or 10 fake Twitter and Facebook account. The preliminary hearings, the judge gave me two options. One option is to have a uh, translator, French translator, and I would have to only rely on that version of the truth, which is from the translator. And I, I was comfort, concerned that I was going to lose the content of everything. So the other option was I could have no translator but interrupt asking my lawyer any time of the process and remember you were there anytime I could ask what does it mean what does it mean is that true or is it like what is she like what is it because I have a need of translation I'm not so, so that's why some people would say I interrupt but I have actually the right to by the judge or I could have had a translator he's got a scar yeah. right here I wanted my lawyer to ask in court because how can you say you like how would you know that because in film I work in film we always use like makeup for camouflage but unless you're not in film and it's real life then you would see he's got a round scar here and it's it's that size and and how would I know that? Like, I can prove I had a relationship with him, but he's lying. He's lying. He's lying to the court, which which that is perjury, and he's probably lying to his wife in order to to save his marriage.